Welcome to my next pencast on chapter 9. The topic of this short pencast is how do you value accounts receivable? When you have accounts receivable, I'm going to use some short notation so I'm not writing forever. $100,000, let's say, how should this be shown? And what statement should it be shown on? If you reflect for a moment, you realize accounts receivable belongs on the balance sheet. Further is located under assets, specifically current assets. Usually the second or third item. It is, as a general rule, a very large portion of company assets. And what we want to be careful to do is to not show the accounts receivable for more than they would be worth. Generally accepted accounting principles, as we know as GAAP, require that you show accounts receivable at a term known as one of two names, either net realizable value or cash realizable value. These terms, I guess I should write that there, huh? These terms are used interchangeably in your textbook. And what they mean is that you show accounts receivable at the amount you expect to collect. What is my partial balance sheet? Have the company name, the name of the statement, and that it's as of a point in time. I have assets. Under current assets, I have accounts receivable, 100000 I've made an estimate that I expect to collect only 90,000 of those. So I'm showing a account called Allowance for Doubtful Accounts. And I'm deducting it from accounts receivable. It's the first time you've seen this account, Allowance for Doubtful Accounts. It is a contra asset and it relates to accounts receivable. The definition of a contra asset is it adjusts the account that it relates to to a more correct balance, and it has the opposite balance of the account that it relates to. Since accounts receivable has a debit balance, the country account therefore has a credit balance. In this first example, I am showing all the details of the accounts receivable. You rarely see the word net realizable value or cash realizable value written out. Rather, you see it shown in this fashion. But if it were to be referred to, the 90000 is the net realizable value or the cash realizable value. A second acceptable way to show the accounts receivable would be to just show net accounts receivable at 90000 and see and note to see the notes of the financial statement. And in the notes to the financial statement, you could give the details of the allowance for doubtful accounts. And you would just show on the balance sheet the net realizable value. It would still have headings. It would still be an asset. It would still be a current asset. It would just be shown like this. Showing it with full detail or just a net amount are both acceptable means of presenting on the financial statement. That concludes my pencast discussing how you value accounts receivable on the balance sheet.